nothing to do, nowhere to go. Dekho suno mat bolo. श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम वी आर इन दुर्गा माता टेम्पल एंड दुर्गा माता इज द डिवाइन पोटेंशियलिटी ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ एंड द मदर माता मीज मदर इज ग्लोरिफाइड इन मेनी हिम्स लाइक या देवी सर्वभूतेशु मातृरूपेण संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वभूतेशु क्षुधारूपेण संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी दयारूपेण या देवी क्षातिपेण या देवी निद्रारूपेण एंड ऑल दिस बिगिन्स दैट द गॉडेस अलोन इज एक्सप्रेसिंग इन आवर लाइफ इन एवरी एक्सप्रेशन निद्रारूपेण इट इज द गॉडेथ विच इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज स्लीप इट इज द गॉडेथ हु इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज क्षुधा द हंगर इन दिस मैनर एवरीथिंग इज एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ दिस डिवाइन पोटेंशियलिटी एंड हाउ इट बिगिन्स द फर्स्ट श्लोका इज या देवी सर्वभूतेशु चेतने तिधीयते नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी दैट गॉडेस दैट डिवाइन पोटेंशियलिटी सर्वभूतेशु इन ऑल बीइंग ऑल बीइंग मीन्स वॉट वेदर दे आर एनिमल्स और वेजिटेरियन और नॉन वेजिटेरियन एनी वन सी ए लिव इट नाउ ए चुटकी वॉट इज हर नेम विवा इन अफ No, sit down. Don't worry about dot com. Huh. This is like you know when you go for uh, what you call voting. <laughs> That doesn't go very quickly. This also doesn't go very quickly. So, ya devi sarva bhuteshu chetane tibidhiyate. The truth is expressing as chetana. Chetana means life. See. So presently, where is our attention? Our attention is on the external world. See, and with reference to ourselves. So, if we want to surrender to the goddess mother, we have to go back home. See. So, where are we presently? We are presently in the worldly objects. and we are lost so much in that that we are divorced from our own divine nature see how it is we all have got obsessions about something specific see for example colors somebody likes red color somebody likes yellow somebody likes green and i don't like yellow color so what will i say what yellow yellow dirty fellow change the color This has come in front of me. See, this is Bhagwan's lila. What you don't like, that comes to you. What you like, it goes away from you. 
See? So we are so obsessed with the specificities. Be very attentive. But what is the truth? The truth is that all the colors and all the forms, they are illuminated by the vision. I am not telling eyes because there are two aspects. One is a structural eye and second is a functional eye. See? Therefore, when we are seeing colors and forms, we are using our vision. Now, what is the color of the vision? No color. What is the shape of the vision? No shape. The vision is common for all colors and forms. And vision does not have any obsession for any particular color. Vision doesn't say, I will not look at a yellow color. No. If yellow comes, yes, it is yellow. And go ahead. Red comes, it is red. See? Therefore, one illusion we must remove from our mind that I am attached to something or somebody is the biggest illusion. We are not attached to anything or anybody in life. If you catch this point, you will be relaxed in life. And nobody can do it for us. Now what we are doing, we are trying to reach Mother. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu We have to reach the Chetana. Chetana is the life principle. We have to go there. So presently we are we? We are in the objective world. An objective world, there are five objects. Shabda, Sparsha, Rupa, Rasagandha. Shabda, the sound. Sparsha, the touch. Rupa, the form. Rasa, the taste. Gandha, the smell. And there are many varieties among them. Taste if you take. It is uh, sweet, it is sour, it is salty and pungent and etc. If you take the sound, oh it is melodious, it is so sweet, it is like a very hoarse sound. Wow, wow, wow. Separateness, specialities. In short, we are all lost in something special. So what will be the spiritual practice? Give up obsession for the special and come to the common. How can I come? It's not difficult, my friends. Very simple. Do not give yourself too much of choice. Lesser the choice we entertain in our life happier we are. More the choice we exercise, miserable we are. So what is the real spiritual practice? See, this is what the mother tells us. Come back to me. See, come back to me. So, the first step on the spiritual path will be that we should be clear about we are lost in this world only because of too much of obsession for something or the other. And these obsessions are called technically Raga Dvesha or likes and dislikes. See, now for example I tell you, I don't like uh, the eggplant. See? And if I had to go and stay in a Punjabi house, Punjabis cannot live without Panganta Partha. Even they dream about that only, Bengal Kavartha. And I just don't like it. So when I go to a Punjabi house, they with all love and all care, Swamiji has come. So the delicacy of the Punjabi is Bengal Kavartha. And when it comes in front of me, I start to be Mary, Mother. Mother, can't you take any other avatar? Why this terrible? Now, when you don't like something, what you do? You have to get rid of it quickly. No, I am a Swami. I am not supposed to behave like that. So, what I do? Like if you want to throw something out somewhere, we take the tissue paper, put it on that, lift it and throw it. Exactly the same way. I take chapati, put it on that bangan ka bharata, lift it and I can't throw. So, I put it in my mouth and take a glass of water. Over. 
now that mother punjabi mother she start thinking oh swami ji likes bangan ka bharta again it comes and my whole lunch is destroyed now who is responsible bangan ka bharta no this illusion this foolishness that i like something i don't like something now tell me what is the logic behind this there is no logic why i like something there is no logic why i don't like something and we consider ourselves to be most intelligent and intelligent people are never miserable but intellectuals are intelligently miserable because what is prosperity what is affluence prosperity and affluence is you can exercise more choices see the same dining table there are only two three people eating but there will be so many varieties this i don't like i this i don't like are ram 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 give yourself minimum choice you will be happiest in life that happiness is ya devi sarva bhuteshu chetane te vidhiyate the friends don't go on imagining that i want to have the vision of god don't do that she told me she wants to express but she doesn't have the instruments to express for example suppose uh, i have music in me through some instrument so be very attentive take this example clearly it will make the point you must have seen the sitar or violin or whatever those wires on which there is music played those wires are on a particular tension if the wires are lazy like you know the cl- uh, cloth we put for drying like that music will not come if it is too tight it will break so we want optimum tension on those wires and the person who is playing he should not have any tension he should be relax but if he stands then he will break that instrument so two things our instruments must be optimum and perfect and the one who is playing through that instrument he should be relax and cheerful see the difference once i was in south africa a pani wala वहां बैठो हटो मत सो वंस आई वॉज इन साउथ अफ्रीका एंड इन आउट ऑफ इंडिया हार्डली एनी बडी नोज ऑल द डिटेल म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड ऑल दैट सो देर वॉज वन डॉक्टर ही वॉज प्लेइंग तबला वेन आई एंटर दैट हॉल ही गॉट एक्साइट स्वामी जी हैज कम एंड आई एम प्लेइंग तबला somebody was singing and playing and he was playing tabla and he got so excited and then he started hitting the tabla so hard that the big one i don't know what you call that he hit that so hard there was a hole in that you have to be relax see there is a saying in hindi dimag aur tabla hamesha chada ke nahi rakhte see it should be relax and the relaxation comes when we are no more obsessed by anything special and then obsession is called less personal likes and dislikes so what is the real spiritual practice when we are not obsessed with any object we are coming back to our sense organs presently where are we we are at the periphery of our personality see we are not in the center at the periphery see take another example if you are swimming in ocean sea so on the surface there will be lot of waves and you will be buffeted by those waves ups and downs 
But in the same place, if you go little deep, all waves disappear. In the same manner, when we are living at the surface level of our existence, worldly things and worldly beings, and we get tired, then what we do? We go to sleep. And what is sleep? We dive deep in our own being. Therefore, many people, when they come for satsang, they go to sleep. <laughs> and I like them. One example, I am always reminded of that. In Bombay, it happened. There were two persons sitting right in front of, in the front row. And one was a guaranteed sleeping master. And other was okay. So when my talk started, in no time, that giant, he slept. And he had a pillow next to him. So, so this person who became a pillow, he was getting upset. And he moved like this thing. But this Kumbhakarna was born to sleep. He put his hand around him. <coughs> now that fellow can't run away. And I was enjoying. After my talk was over, that sleeping giant, first of all, he got up and said, Swamiji, you are awesome. I wanted to tell him, you are awful. But I kept quiet. I said, thank you. Then the Dunlop pillow came. Became so angry. Swamiji, when you saw him sleeping, why didn't you wake him up? I said, look, fool. We are here in satsang for what? For becoming miserable or for being happy. I came for becoming happy. But cool, cool. Don't shout. Cool. Now understand. Analyze. You have come for happiness. Did you get? No, Swami, because it's cool. Don't go further. You got it? No. He got it. Therefore, those who sleep in satsanga, they are the real satsangi. See, friends. What is sleep? We dive deep in our own being. When we dive deep in our own being, three things happen. Number one, we have no sense of limitations. We are infinite. We have no sense of otherness. So no jealousy, no competition, no friendship, no enemy. And therefore, we are at peace. Now this experience we all have every day. But we do not learn from our own experience. Therefore, we have to reach this Matadi. We have to reach the mother. So first of all, we have to get away from the periphery of our personality. Don't get involved with things and beings in this world. How it can be done? Our Maha Mantra which I played in the beginning. Wherever you are, whenever you are, whatever you are, be hundred percent. Now here, where are we? We are in the temple. For what? Satsanga. As what? Satsangi. No, other than remaining as a Satsangi, all other relations and everything is dropped. You will never have a problem in focusing your attention to any topic. Our condition is, we are here, but mind goes there. We are satsangi, but we are thinking about something. See, after satsanga, we are told there will be bhandara. We are told for 20 people, if there are more people come, what should I do? I think, uh, and what is going on? Satsanga is going on and bhandara is going on inside. How can you learn? See, my friends, spiritual practice is not makeup. See, putting on different dot com or the railway lines or different malas, Rudraksha mala, Spatika mala, Vajanti mala, don't get lost in that. 
we have to learn to be present 100% every moment in life it can happen only if we are not carried away by anything special see one day somebody's house i went and the children were making fun of the mother because that mother what she was doing she was reading something and she was uh, doing like this so the kids mom you are becoming very stylish no beta not stylish i can't see properly be attentive i can't see properly now in this experiment where was the attention of that lady not on the words but on the eyes it doesn't matter what it was whether it was a spiritual book or it was a cinema story that was not the criteria criteria was whether my vision is functioning properly or not if you get this example exactly the same way my friends when we come back to our sense organs worldly objects do not disturb us worldly people do not disturb us we remain at peace with ourselves how important it is and nobody can do it for us so the second spiritual practice is we have to control our faculties we have got five gnanendriyas and five karmendriyas 10 of them and 11th is mind so we have to control that oh god so many things to control okay a shortcut control only tongue tongue is two in one see in english there is no parallel word in sanskrit when the tongue is used for tasting it is called rasana when it is used for talking it is called jiva so our tongue has two functions now control these two functions you have control all your sense organs first is rasana eating see how much time energy we spend only on this topic uh, what should we prepare for breakfast by the time you are eating breakfast think about lunch me kya banao no other theme in life except food 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 see then what is to be done i tell you a simple technique before eating food don't think about food while eating food every bite you enjoy after you have finished don't think about food again whatever comes in front of you enjoy that see then we remain 100% in the present so this is the rasana control and the second one is the jiva the talking now about talking i tell this is a very subtle point see we come across two experiences if you want to define the world according to scriptures what is the world asti bhati priya naam roop iti pancham shakam adyatrayam brahma roopam jagat roopam tato dvayam sachidananda aspect of the world is paramatma and naam roop name and form is the world be very attentive form this is a form this is a mobile phone you know the mobile phone doesn't know it is a mobile phone it is just a form who knows it i know but this word no, mobile phone where it is it is in my mind so where is the world world is outside the forms and inside the names be very attentive we have no control on the forms of this world you have no control we can have control on the names because they are in us 
see but what happens we see we hear and they start blah 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 start giving opinions giving advice no need see it is for this purpose japa sadhana is told in our scriptures see now what is the japa sadhana be attentive goddess mother expresses in every one of us through four stages first is the para vani second is the pashanti vani the third is the madhyama vani and fourth is the vaikhari vani so goddess expresses as mind that mind state is called as para vani now that mind start becoming little grossified it is called as pashanti vani the same mind becomes still grosser it is called as madhyama vani and when it becomes fully grossified it is called as vaikhari vani now i am talking to you by the vaikhari vani vaikhari vani means what that experience where the object and the name of the object they are separate from each other so when i say this is a water bottle so water bottle is an object and a name is in my mouth this experience is called as vaikhari vani experience so where are we we are in vaikhari vani non stop ka 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 no end to it so what should be the spiritual practice in our maha mantra dekho suno mat bolo see here no comments how much we waste our time and energy unwanted then you are slowly going within yourself no comments but we have got default settings see we have to say something therefore if you see when people gather together for anything even if they come for satsang <coughs> satsang remains secondary and then they start telling see when i was coming you know what happened there was a um, accident you know one um, bicycle person he was knocked by a motorcycle you know and that poor fellow fell down now story is over do you think other will keep quiet this is nothing when i was coming there was a car it knocked down the motorcycle you know are you competing with the accidents or what my accident is bigger than your accident we have to talk my friends try this simple technique before we talk on any topic anywhere ask a question to yourself is it necessary to talk punjabis kehna nahi chahiye lekin hamare padosi ki bahu hamare bahu se bahut achhi hai are maharani when you know kehna nahi chahiye why don't you keep your mouth shut see vai khari wale now to control this the further i am taking you deep be very attentive thoughts do not disturb us then what disturbs us the flow of thought disturbs us this point should be clear see like if you take bath in ganges suppose you are in varanasi there are nice ghat you go there and and deep yourself in ganges take nice comfortable bath and come out no problem but if the ganges are in floods and you go there waters are the same you are carried away not by the water but by the flow of water exactly the same way thoughts are not problem the flow of thought is a problem we get carried away by that flow of thought and the thought flow happens when one thought breeds the next thought and when the thoughts are 
uh, about something finite, then the second thought is born. See? And this is a common example. This is my regular experience. I get up any time and I want a cup of tea. So, in new place, uh, I get up and I want a cup of tea first. So, I want a cup of tea is a thought. Then, where can it be available? Where should I go? Should I go there? In one house I went, opened and I went into the toilet to say, oh, he is not a tea, you know. I hear nowhere. And it was so uncomfortable. Why? I wanted a cup of tea. Whenever the theme is finite, thought breeding happens. I want to get my daughter married, theme. And then, should I get somebody imported? Should I get local one? Should I get this thing? Business person? And after spending lot of time, energy, months together, she says, I have found out already, you are puncher. See? How much we are carried away by our own thoughts because the thoughts are pertaining to something finite. Now be attentive. Now take the Lord's name. Hari Ananta, Hari Katha Ananta. Paramatma is infinite. God is infinite. So chant the Lord's name. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. This is complete. No second thought is required. Again, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. What exactly happens is, if the road is very nice, open road, no uh, uncalled for traffic and road is straight and you are driving. After some time, the lullaby effect comes. And therefore, on the roads there are some speed breakers, rampant strips. Your sleep goes away. Exactly the same way, when we are thinking about a particular theme, we get carried away by that and we forget what for we are in this world. Therefore, to arrest the flow of thought, we have to chant the Lord's name. See? And when you arrest the flow of thought, you will see your mind is at peace, your mind is available to you. See? Because Paramatma is infinite, there is nothing to be added to that. And therefore, in all our scriptures, the chanting the Lord's name is one of the most potent spiritual practice. So, when we thus keep chanting in our Vaikhari Vani, wherever you are sitting, sit quiet, take the mala in the hand and don't finish it. If you are a Gujarati, you will do the abbreviation. Gujarati's mantra is Jai Shri Krishna, 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 Jai Shri Krishna. Bhagavan Krishna gets confused. Are you? This is my mantra. Hai. See? No hurry. We don't have to give account to anybody. How to chant the Lord's name by Vaikari Vani? I'll tell you an example. If you have to take some Ayurvedic medicine, you know how Ayurvedic medicines are horrible? Names are also like that. Kutaja Rishta. And when you take that medicine, your mouth is so horrible, so you want to have some Rasagulla and water and clean it. This is the technique of Ayurvedic medicine. They give you such a bitter medicine to avoid the next dose. You say, I am okay. See? We are chanting the Lord's name like Ayurvedic medicine. Khatam karna hai. No. How to chant the Lord's name? 
as you eat the chocolate. <laughs> How we eat the chocolate? We wrap, remove it, put it in the mouth. It is kept in the parking lot. Mm. And it continues for half an hour or so, isn't it now? To chant the Lord's name with taste. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, <coughs> Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Each and every cell of our body gets permeated by the Divine Name. Okay. It's so important. When this we practice consciously on a disciplined manner, we must have some time when we are nobody. If you sit for your prayers or for your meditation as a husband, what will be your Ishta Devata? Not Ishta Devata, Anishta Devata. Belan eh? Devi. You cannot. See? So find out when are we nobody? In deep sleep, we are nobody. In deep sleep we are nowhere. In deep sleep we are never. Time, space, individuality gone. Therefore we are nobody. So before we become anybody, finish your spiritual practice. See? So who is doing sadhana? Nobody is doing sadhana. And what is that sadhana? First, we have to purify and mature our Vaikhari Vani. And for that, this is the mantra. More than how many times we chant, what is important is how much time we spend with her. That is important. There is no hurry. We don't have to give account to anybody. Our mind must be only soaked with the divine theme. See? And when this happens, you will see automatically without your efforts, your chanting will become slowly silent. You will not enter sleep. Then you have migrated from your waking experience from the Vaikhari Vani to the Madhyama Vani. Now you have entered your mind. And when we are in our mind, then the chanting of the Lord's name goes on incessantly without efforts. When you are talking to somebody, you talk. The moment that is over, immediately the name starts. When you are walking steps, the name starts. One great Mahatma once asked me this question. Um, do you do Japa? I said, yes, sometime. Not sometime. Do like this. And he told me. <coughs> you do brush in the morning? I said, yes, Maharaj. When you take the toothpaste and toothbrush in your hand, start chanting the Lord's name. What do you chant? I said, I chant Hari Om. He says, start. Hari Om, 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 Hari Om. How many times you, how much time you do? Five minutes. So five minutes, Hari Om, Hari Om, Hari Om. How many times you chant in a day? Two times. So ten minutes added to our account. These are small techniques. But when we go here and there walking, I'll clack, 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 See? Similarly, when you are walking with the steps, 
सिंक्रोनाइज योर लॉर्ड्स नेम हरिओम 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 and then slowly you continue one day you will discover this our mind functions only in rhythms when we were in our mother's womb the first experience a fetus has is that of the rhythm of the heart beats of the mother first experience now that rhythmic experience is now encased so when you are all by yourself not walking no toothbrush no nothing sitting then now synchronize with your breathing breathe in hari breathe out o hari o hari in your mind not loudly do for next 1 minute now you, you know what you are doing you are not synchronizing the chanting with the breathing you are doing the other way around breathing is a natural process where efforts are not required when we chant efforts are required observe this whether you are breathing and chanting or you are chanting and breathing nobody can help you breathing is an effortless expression of life devi mata effortless expression of life is breathing and in that effortless expression when the mind synchronizes chanting the lord's name we come back to our divine nature and that experience is effortlessness and when the efforts disappear you disappear only parmatma remains wherever there are efforts we are not normal if somebody is hard of hearing he or she has to put efforts because not normal in the same manner if we get tired in our life i have done so much now i want to retire you know is you know then you are not normal never retire in life till the last moment be actively dynamic that is our natural state but when we have that notion i am doing this thing, i am doing thing no enough no let the things happen when this is done for some time a 
exactly what has happened. From the Vaikhari Vani, we have migrated deeper in our system inside in the Madhyama Vani. What does it mean? Madhyama Vani means we talk to ourselves. Observe this. How much we keep on talking to ourselves? Watch anywhere. If somebody is sitting and just casually sit. Keep on talking to yourself. And as a result, we are totally frustrated. So as much keeping our mouth shut in the outer world is important. Equally, it is important. Stop talking to yourself. When you don't talk to yourself, you are free from the problems of mind. The problem of mind is only this. Do the other way around. Think whatever you want to think. But don't use any words. Think without words. You cannot. Because, be attentive, mind grossified is word. Like ice, rather water, grossified is ice. Ice and water are the same. In the same manner, mind and speech, they are one and the same. If we want to control our mind, Control your speech. Zaban ko lagam do. See? How much we get involved unnecessarily. And then, when we don't talk to ourselves, meaning, when we are at peace with ourselves, we are at peace with the whole world. A person who is not at peace with himself or herself cannot be at peace with the world. See? We have to recognize this within ourselves. If you are at peace, then you are able to sail through the turmoils of the river of life comfortably. But if we are not at peace with ourselves, then we are always agitated, frustrated, angry, and then our perceptions are perverted. What is, is not seen. What is not, is seen. See, friends, it is only because we did not mind our mind. We have to mind our mind. So, Vaikhari Vani, waking experience. Madhyama Vani, dream experience. Dreaming is two ways. One is day dreaming, other is night dreaming. See? And that time the Madhyama Vani functions. See? Now when these two Vani's, two speeches, when they are quietened, then we enter the Pashanti Vani. Now like in case of Vaikhari Vani, I told you, the object and the thought indicating the object are separate. In Madhyama Vani, the object and the thought indicating the object, both are thoughts only. What you call Khayali Pula. This is nothing. We are only thinking, hey, if I go to the airport, uh, I hope there won't be any rush, you know. Sometimes there's too much of rush. I should, I should, you know. Everything is happening in the mind. See? Now, from here, we go still nearer to ourselves. 
we come to the pashanti vani pashanti vani is what where thought and the object indicated by the thought they are not yet separated they are ready to separate but not yet separated that is pashanti vani all great masters live in the pashanti vani and therefore when they say something it happens because where what is the platform where from they uh, begin their talk they start talking from pashanti vani where thought and object of the thought they are together so when they say something it happens it is not magic we have to discover it discover means what it is already there but is covered by the vekhari vani covered by the madhyama vani and therefore our pashanti vani is covered by these two vanis now this covering should be clearly understood see colors and forms cover our vision when we are too obsessed with the colors and forms sounds or words they cover our hearing ability our sense organs cover our mind our mind covers the intellect the seat of discrimination and wisdom and this intellect seat of discrimination the place for i covers this mother see one of our maha mantra is jo thari raha hai so mari raha hai oh god thy will be done this journey is the real spiritual practice then anything there you are doing or not doing is not important are we going back to our own place or not see ne then what will happen so we are discarded the worldly things we are come back to the sense organs we are conquered the sense organs we are come to the mind we have grown out of the likes and dislikes through wisdom and uh, discrimination we are come to the i after we have come to this i vidnana mai kosha now this vidnana mai kosha is also surrendered at the feet of the god see and therefore we start living in his will see in kathopanishad at the end there is one very beautiful mantra yada sarve pramuchyante kama yasya rudishritah athamartyah amruto bhavati atra brahma samashrute when we live at zero desire level zero desire level is god realization and god realization is being happy not struggling to become happy our life is we are struggling to become happy and therefore we are seeking happiness when you seek something you go away from yourself when you discover you come back to yourself because discovers have covered our divine nature our scripture tell that whether we know or we do not know whether we want or we do not want we are divine even i am divine yes no but i am a rakshasa rakshasa are also divine see friends and this can be only discovered what is the discovery something is already there 
but it was covered with something. So you remove the cover, the existing things is revealed in the same manner. It is self-discovery. We are not creating divinity. Our own divine nature is covered by these five sheets. The world, gross body, then the prana, then the mind, then the intellect and the personality. And therefore, as we start migrating from the periphery to the center, we are walking the spiritual path. Spiritual life is a journey from the virtual reality to the actual reality. See? Virtual reality is useful, but not real. Like the common example, one man, he is the son, he is the husband, he is the father. Same man. Now the son, husband and father, these are virtual realities. They are useful. See? What for the husband is required? For lifting the bags when you go for shopping. Useful. But not real. Real is man. See friends. Then what is to be done? Play your role. Karnataka, one of the Mahamantra. Whatever you have to do in your life, do it as a drama. Now what is a drama? Drama is you perform so perfectly, but at the same time you know clearly you are not that. See, in a drama one person becomes Hanumanji. That time he knows he can't even jump one inch and he has jumped from here to there. He knows that very well. But how beautifully he performs. Therefore, my friends, all the spiritual practice according to our scripture is only this. Karnataka in our technical language, Rama Leela or Krishna Leela. See, Leela means what? Everything is appearing to be happening, but actually nothing is happening. You all are very well read. In Ramayana, you must be knowing. After leaving Chitrakut, Bhagwan Ram, Chandraji, Sitaji and Lakshmanji, they started going in the forest. Last part of their drama. So, up to the point in uh, this Chitrakut, they were happily living, no problem. Happily, cheerfully living. Then while going for their job, then Bhagwan Ram told Sita Ji, hide your this form in the Tanmatra, the Agni Tanmatra, the fire. So Sita Ji hides her original form in the fire Tanmatra and a Xerox copy comes out. In front, Bhagwan Rama is going. Behind him, Xerox copy Sita is going. Even Lakshman Ji didn't know that she is a Xerox copy. And everywhere went. Then Ravana, who took Sita, it was a Xerox copy, not the original. But that time, how Bhagwan Rama was doing the drama, Oh trees, oh plants, hey Jatayu, where is my wife? I cannot live without her. It was just a solid drama. And in that drama, even Sati, Shivji's Patni, she got confused. You call him as God, Brahman, but he is crying for the wife like an ordinary human being. He cannot be Brahman because his drama performance was superb. And after the whole job was over, then again while returning back to Ayodhya, Bhagavan Rama tells to Sita Ji, No, I can't accept you. Bracket. Because you are a Xerox copy. Then I want you to go through the fire treatment. So the Xerox copy is burned and original brought out and that original Sita came to uh, um, Ayodhya. What a beautiful drama. Our life is a drama. What a role we have to play. Play perfectly. Enjoy that. See? Once I was in a drama 
and in that drama the whole theme was i was tortured and i was beaten and the story was developed in such a manner that there was a collective sympathy of the whole audience and then in that i was on the stage and the other person was hitting me with the uh, some kind of a whip musical going on and i was crying and crying and the whole audience also took out the tissue paper and started crying one observation do you know these days girls when they cry they don't wipe their eyes they wipe their nose they take out the tissue paper on this there is a question swami ji why these days the girls don't wipe their eyes i said because eyelashes will come out <laughs> they are all artificial see so when the audience was crying because of acting what was going in my mind are you dumb you are paying and crying really for my fake miseries and i am paid for the fake miseries and you are suffering exactly the same way we all have to play the role play your role perfectly well but no we all have to play so many roles in life but we get so much overpowered by one role and it influences our other performance see there was a friend of mine um he was telling me this thing swami ji please help me how to control it i can't control myself so what is the problem he said one day i told my daughter small one maybe 6 7 years and uh, see we'll go for a movie okay you are asking me every time keep yourself ready when i come from work i'll we'll go and the girl was so excited now we are going to go for a movie in the evening and have a nice thing out in and that day he had a very miserable day everywhere he got kicks and failures total frustrated and in the frustrated mode he came home Now the small little girl, she was excited to go for a movie. She said, "Dad, you are come. Now let us go for a movie. Movie, eh? give one to that child." Now the child was thinking, "What I have done? See, because that frustrated personality was overpowering the father in that man. Friends, we all have to play." different roles in life play your role perfectly well and don't forget who you are see and this can happen only through wisdom there is no other way so when we the started migrating from the periphery to the center and if we really start living at the pashanti or paravani level then what happens bhagavad gita 6 chapter atma upamena sarvatra samam pashyati yojuna sukham va yadi va dukham sa yogi paramo matah such a great master is happy in the happiness of others and he has a natural inclination to extend the helping hand to the miserable one like if i have got a scratching on my face i don't have to write an application dear right hand will you please uh, find some time to come and scratch below the right eye it is getting too much i'm sorry i'm busy no no even request is made it happens by default or life is love default for everyone see friends no efforts this is what he is then that mother is expressing through us we cannot have the arrogance of success or failure if my tongue is bitten by my teeth the tongue doesn't say somebody has to go to dentist no and if the tongue goes and digs in between the teeth 
then the teeth don't say thank you darling you are always helpful pin no there may be difference but there is one is recognized that expansion of individuality to encompass the totality is the divine mother ya devi sarva bhuteshu see hunger is a common phenomena for all the living beings when we see us eating good food and enjoying we feel something great oh nice food satiated a pig eating the filth he also gets the same satiation because the principle of hunger is common it is not different you must have seen the birds they look so beautiful their plumage is so colorful and all that but what they eat they eat the insects but does it mean they are dirty no that is their food see friends the principle of hunger is common for everybody similarly kama krodha lobha moha madam asarya desire anger greed frustration is common to everyone because we are all the expressions of the divine mother let the divine mother express through us या देवी सर्वभूतेषु चेतने विधीयते सर्वभूतेषु या देवी चेतना इति अभिधीयते सी इन ऑल द बीइंग्स मदर इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एज लाइफ सी देयरफॉर इफ वी कैन नॉट गिव लाइफ टू समबडी वी हैव नो राइट टू किल समबडी देयरफॉर दोस हु आर किलिंग अदर्स they only go to hell if we cannot help somebody never mind but don't destroy somebody in this manner when we discover our nature slowly and steadily our life changes and a new horizon opens for us this is how out of an ordinary person a great master is born and this potentiality is present in every one of us see therefore to conclude chant the lord's name as i told you whatever number uh, japa you are doing before becoming anybody morning before you gets up you are nobody find out whatever time is at your disposal stand the lord till slowly few months or so then your speech your mind will become purer come back keep on chanting whenever you are going here and there then you start migrating from the periphery to the center to the pashanti vani and when you start remaining you will remain effortlessly quiet effortless quietness is our contribution on the spiritual path hereafter the mother takes over but unless we reach there she will not help us see you have to put efforts and the best part is we are given a total choice do it don't do it who cares kya farak padta hai om purnamadaha purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om